hey guys, um, so today I'm going to do a short video, um, say hi to YouTube. Um, this video is going to be about switching and tabs. Now, not many people may know this, um, I don't know how public the YouTube side of RuneScape is nowadays, or how many people actually watch it out of the percent that play all together. Um, but I know that I only found out, I found this out the long way um, through searching it on YouTube. Um, but originally I used to PK, as noobish as it is, without tabs. And for any of you who don't know what that means, it's that the F keys on your keyboard equate to functions within RuneScape. Okay, and they go up to F5. Um, to lay them out quickly for you, F1 is inventory, F2 is wielded items, F3 is prayer, F4 is magic and F5 is attack style slash special attack. I only know it as special attack because, you know, when you're doing granite ball rushing or claw rushing, you wield and then switch really quickly. Right, now, some of the techniques um, that people use are as follows. They cycle between F5 and F1. So F1, F5, F1, F5 to show off a spec. Um, I'm currently wearing a mix between Tarox and Akram's good fight. <laughs> and so what I'm going to show you first is a classic switch. So the classic switch would have been like this. Um, you attack with your regular... <laughs> you attack with your regular um, controls using the stances like this. Um, you would say right click or left click, wheel dragon dagger, and then quickly go across and try and get the spec in really fast, like so. Go back to your inventory and switch back to your main weapon, like so. Um, but of course there is a much quicker way of doing that, and I will show you guys how to do it now. So using the experience drop, what you would do as a PK is you would wait for a big damage like that. That's not massive, 105 experience. You wait for say a 200, and when you see a 200, that is the time to switch. So you'd highlight, right-click your special weapon. You have it along this bar so that it's in parallel with the special bar when you switch. So highlight, right-click, then you press F5, ready. Now you wait for the hit. You wait for the hit, and any time now, then you go wield special, boom. And then you would say F1, back to your main weapon, and switch back, like so. That's a good way to do it. Now, of course, you can go F3 for prayer if you're worried you haven't got your protect item on. Back to F1, back to F5, you've got no spec, back to F1, like so. So, say I wanted to go whip, I'd go, boom, spec like that, but of course, oh, and I got beaten. <laughs> good old damaged. Right. Let's go back in for another round. Right, okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the Maul spec. Now this one is a good one, of course it won't really show through because he's wearing Verax, but what you would do is right click wield, press F5, wait for a moderate damage hit, then you click wield, spec spec. Oh, oh sorry, I don't have inventory space guys, god I am such a noob. So I'd eat a shark, and you'd go right click wield, hover over it, press F5 to get ready for your spec bar, then you click wield, spec spec, like so. And that's two specs in a millisecond. <coughs> now the maul, granite maul and granite mace have the same special, but of course granite mace is, I think, slightly quicker, but a fair bit weaker in strength. But they are the only specials in game that have a unique special that is known as an instant spec. So the minute that you click the special bar, the minute that it attacks the enemy, but a common mistake that people make is that they haven't got auto retaliate on or that they don't click attack after they have wielded. So if I was to say attack, switch to my maul, I'm not attacking him. So what you would need to do if you are a non auto retaliator, you would need to go like so. Attack with the whip, attack with the whip, then you go F5, wheel granite maul, make sure that you click almost instantly and then spec spec. Okay, the alternative to that is have an auto retaliate on, but of course if you're a PVMer um, in like fight pits or wherever and you're running about all over the place with auto retaliate on, it's not that good.